In the fall of 2021, investigators from the Niagara Regional Police Service, Peel Regional Police, and the Hamilton Niagara Detachment of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, RCMP, commenced a joint investigation dubbed Project Gateway. The 10-month investigation identified that the organized group was engaged in a number of alleged criminal enterprises. This included conspiring to smuggle cocaine from Mexico and Los Angeles into Canada by transport truck and boat across the St. Clair River, operating cocaine extraction labs in rural properties located in southwestern Ontario, which were designed to transform smuggled cocaine from an altered state to powder cocaine for resale, smuggling cannabis and cannabis derivatives from Canada to the United States and other countries internationally by transport truck and registered shipping services, smuggling large amounts of tobacco from the United States into Canada by transport truck, smuggling people across the Niagara River into New York State by boat, possessing stolen vehicles and shipping them overseas, firearms possession, employing illegal foreign workers to work at cannabis production sites and to clean chain hotels, production of cannabis on a massive scale and smuggled into the United States using transport trucks, as well as the production of illegal cigarettes. Over the last 10 months, a variety of seizures were made while collecting evidence relating to alleged smuggling activities. Some of these seizures included a shipment of cannabis weighing 339.5 pounds with an estimated value of over $1.3 million, 22 skids of undeclared tobacco with an estimated value of $230,000, 45,000 cannabis plants and over 20,000 pounds of processed cannabis with an estimated value of over $62 million, as well as 80 kilograms of of cocaine valued at approximately $3.2 million. On September 14, 2022, the active joint project came to a conclusion with the execution of search warrants in various locations throughout the province of Ontario. The search warrants were executed with the assistance of approximately 175 police officers from agencies across southern Ontario, as well as 10 CBSA immigration officers. The cooperation that we've seen throughout this project has been nothing short of remarkable. Um, police agencies from across the province really came together at different stages to react to the evidence or the flow of, of evidence and, and our investigative steps. So without their assistance, without their cooperation, there's no way this project would have been even close to as successful as I think it was. The totality of the investigation and the warrants that were executed resulted in over 120 charges laid against 20 people. Our goal as an investigative team at the beginning of this was to dismantle and disrupt this organized group and put a stop to uh, the behavior and the scheming that was happening that ultimately leads to uh, violence in our communities, not just here in Niagara, but all the other jurisdictions, all the other areas in the greater Toronto area, uh, eastern Ontario, Western Ontario, all the way up to British Columbia. I think that this project is going to have a, a profound impact um, uh, all across the country. In addition to the NRPS, Peel Regional Police and RCMP, several law enforcement agencies worked in collaboration throughout the duration of Project Gateway, including the Canadian Border Services Agency, FBI Buffalo International Organized Crime Task Force, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, multiple units and sections from the Ontario Provincial Police, Windsor Police Service, LaSalle Police Service, Chatham Police Service, York Regional Police, Gatineau Police Service, Hamilton Police, Toronto Police Service, and Halton Police Service.